You are famously, famously famous for your jokes. Yes, we are. <laughs> because everybody that we talk to says, we love to talk to Michigan because they told us cow jokes and jungle jokes and a whole bunch of jokes. <laughs> you must be like the funniest kids in the whole world. Are we? I think so. Are we? Yes. Like, yeah. We are. We are. <laughs> Can you guys tell us a joke real quick? Um, yeah. Here. We got a couple quick ones, Katie. Okay, let me hear. And then Lauren, where's Lauren? Okay. Go ahead. How do you count a herd of cows? Cow. A herd of cows. Uh, one by one? Moo, moo, moo. Oh, go ahead. By a calculator. <laughs> With a calculator. <laughs> a calculator, of course. <laughs> Let Lauren group. And then Dominic, did you have one? Whoops, Lauren, here, you gotta go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, Lauren. What do you call a cow that doesn't produce milk? A cow that doesn't produce milk. A bull? Nope. A milk stud. Uh, <laughs> and, this is, and, this is, and this is Dominic. Okay, hi Dominic. What do you call half a sloth? Mm. Or what looks like half a sloth? Half, half a, a sloth? sloth? Yeah, this is, we're back to jungle now. Oh. Um, what looks like half a sloth, Dominic? The other half. The other oh half. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have one that kind of follows that. Okay, so how far can a dog run into a forest? How far, guys? I don't know. I don't know. Halfway. The other half, he's running out. Oh. Does that count as a and we joke? Talked they were talking about halves. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> and if I, your joke gets a groan, that's a good thing. I have a knock-knock joke. <clears throat> okay. Okay, knock-knock. Who's there? The interrupting cow. No. no. Oh, you knew that one. That's the only cow joke I know. Do you, do you have That's a lot okay. of Do you have a lot of cows where you live? No. No, no because it seems like we were hearing a lot of cow jokes. We just thought well, maybe you lived near a cow. We went to We went to visit a dairy and oh. saw. Got it. And Got then our it. A rainforest, so that's where the jungle jokes came from. Okay. Well, I have Macy and Vanessa here that are they're really wanting to ask you questions, so I'm gonna let them Great. ask you. We're ready. Oh, okay. Um, what was your favorite part of Rock Our World? Hey, loud, Emma. We have many favorite parts of Rock Our World. We love to make music with GarageBand. The Skype calls were great. The mm -hmm. way. To meet other people and learn about different parts of the world. We really love everything about Rock Our World. Right, guys? I love that too. Yeah. yeah. So cute. <laughs> okay, we're ready for the next question, okay, I think. Next question? Okay. What did you learn from participating in Rock Our World? <coughs> we learned geography. We learned about time zones when our school it, day is dark. Kids in New Zealand are just starting this. We learned a new subtraction wrap from Mr. Crovisone in California. We learned about taking care of it done by a friend from our friends in Oklahoma and Canada. <laughs> you guys had a lot we of fun. We did. We love the subtraction wrap from Mr. Provenone. Yeah, that was really cute. Okay. What, what did, did you like, like about, about playing games, games in school? <laughs> <laughs> louder, do it louder. Playing games is fun. It's not like work, but you are learning. Game games make it easier to learn and remember. We like to play math games, Jeopardy, and we love on games on our class iPod, especially Stack the States and Stack the Countries. We also love to play games on the computer. We play Jeopardy in my math class. We, I actually just um, downloaded Stack the Countries, and I've been playing it on my iPad. It's actually a pretty good game. It's very hard. It's very hard. I yeah, liked it. It's very hard. Is mm -hmm. um is Gabor, does Gabor happen to be there right now? Yes, he is. Can he like, over. take a peek in? So yes, I want my can. kids to. Uh, you have not met Gabor yet, but this is uh, Gabor George George Burt, and he is. Oh. 
responsible for coming up with all of these like crazy game ideas that you guys have been playing. Oh, so uh, awesome. thank you, Gabor. We have had great fun. It it was actually harder than what we thought it was going to be. Coming up with no, games. I'm, I'm glad. So this is uh, this is great. I, I love seeing what you guys have done, and uh, I don't know if uh, if you know or the kids know, but I do the same thing with uh, grown ups. Right. And in some, I have uh, kids be the judges of games that adults create, and it's uh, it's great to see that happen. What? Do, um, who's better at creating games, adults or kids? Kids. What do you think? Kids. Kids. Yeah. <laughs> I kids, would guess kids. I would guess kids because I think adults would maybe be stuck. I'd guess kids, but yeah. it's harder when you're in high school to come up with educational games. We found that. Yeah, we like overthink everything. Yeah, and we try to make. Yeah, it fun. we're like, well, we could have like a sandcastle building competition on the beach, and my mom's like, well, what does that teach you? And we're like, about nothing about. They were thinking sand. of all these great <laughs> games that we could come up with, none of which had any educational value, but were great fun. Yeah, most of them right. were. No, I, I, <laughs> I agree. I think kids have a, a great advantage, and the whole point here is to keep this sort of sense of creativity going and, and nurture it. And I think when adults play, uh, what I see is that they very quickly recover that sort of playfulness, yeah. and I think it's very liberating. So, well, thank you fun. for thank you for yeah, working with us. I'm gonna let Vanessa ask your last question, but thank you for working for with us and teaching us again to play it was a lot of fun and it was it was more hard work than what i thought it was going to be but once they got <laughs> but once they got in the mode of thinking games for education i think we had a lot of fun Re then it, then the ideas started rolling but it took a while to get that even even with the yeah, kids well, i thought it was going to be much faster that, that's uh, that's right and i and actually i I secretly knew that. I didn't really tell you that up front. Uh, but no, it's great to see how it all came together. Yeah, we, we've had a blast. Okay, Vanessa wants to ask okay. a question. I noticed in your video your game pieces were, I'm not sure, squinkies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what are those? You three girls come up here. <laughs> well, we thought you might ask that. Yeah, I, they're really cute. <laughs> what is it, though? This is the hot thing in second grade. Who can tell what these are? This is the Squinky. package. Oh, they're Oh, oh, it's a, it's like an actual thing. Hold it up to the... Aww. They're little figurines, and they've uh, appeared on their desk this year. And they're squishy, and they love to play with them and collect oh, them. Oh, my gosh, that's really cute. They look like these things we put on our you pencils. You can just get them at yeah. any toy store? I, I think so. I think, yeah. Do you guys have, have Target? Them? Yeah, no. I'm going to have to put one on my desk. I think I'm going to put them on top of my computer, on the top. Oh, very cool. Very cool. All kinds of squinkies. I'll take a picture of it when I find them. Squinkies. Okay. Got it. Squinkies. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. We're glad you liked them. Well, thank you guys so much. We had a great time, and I hope that we get to have another conversation where we can tell more jokes. Do you have one, oh, more, we... do you have one more joke for us before we go? Tell a joke that had one. Uh, Maeve has one? Okay, okay, Maeve. What's a frog's favorite candy? Okay, we're going to think about this. Rib, ribbit? Rib, ribbon? Pro it's a candy. Pro so. I don't know. Pop, pop. I, uh, Tell her. Lally hops. Aww. Oh, Lally hops. Yeah, you're on the hops. Oh, you were, you were close. That was good. I wasn't close, <laughs> but I was close. But kind of close. If Dominic has one. Dominic has one more. Okay, one more. What's a frog's favorite candy? Oh, another frog's favorite candy? What's another it's, one? What's it's not lolly hops? Oh no! Favorite drink. Sorry. What's the frog's favorite drink? Uh, um, water. Coca Cola. Yeah. Coca Cola. <laughs> you guys are very clever. That's very. I we think you should. Them, you should have like a joke of the day in your class. Well, we'll work on that. Okay. <laughs> so the next time we talk, I hope that we're gonna we're gonna be prepared with jokes next time. Okay, yeah, and we're going to talk with Mr. Provenos class again. With they're going to bring I know, their own jokes. he's all excited. Yeah. The kids are all excited because yeah. they're going to tell jokes with you. You guys, were... you guys should make a big joke video. <gasps> That'd well, be and awesome. then send it rain... to us. Okay, we will. We have our rainforest video, and we did include jokes with the facts. So we'll send you that link. Oh, good. I want to see that. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, Bye. Guys,